Hello, trading is closed on May the 19th, 2020. Go over a call, Let's look for the pattern with the early low. This is it. Tomorrow also has the early low. We had mixed signals. Neither one of the two most common things happen. That's the way it goes sometimes. We said the day long rally without being able to hold the highs is negative. We didn't overtake the high of day promptly. There'd be lower prices. And uh, we had lower prices, but part of the day we had higher prices. So no matter what I said, you could say the call worked, but we did close down despite the huge up day yesterday. BJT in the middle of this long rally said this I wouldn't hold the retrace, said this wouldn't hold the retrace, and of course that's already happened. I think there are too many ways to count this. I'm looking for a high at some point, because I'm viewing this as a bear market rally. And if this is a high, here's the count that works, but until we take this out, and confirm it by closing, by at least trading under the the um, price, which we, at least we have to undercut this low and then trade lower the next day or someday to confirm that's a high. Until that happens, you've got other ways you can count this. Now it is negative that a day after making a new recovery high, we closed, this is the close line, under all the prior highs. That's negative. But to confirm it, you have to trade down by a tick from today's close. And of course, when you have a wall into the close, it's always possible you could gap up. So it's a potential sign of a top, but you need more confirmation than we have now. I would like to thank everyone who went on to Amazon, gave me a five-star review. It really helps me sell my book. Whenever, you know, people looking for excuses not to spend money, and when someone reads a review that says it doesn't work, the system doesn't work, they can just say, forget the whole thing. And it really helps me if people who view the videos and have seen the system work for nearly 18 years, nine of them on YouTube. It helps me when they tell potential purchasers of the book that the system does work. Well, how about tomorrow? I've got mixed signals and a confusing picture for me again. The wall into the close I view as positive. It's often followed by gapping up, but the close under multiple prior highs a day after hitting a new high is negative. I'll apply the rules for mixed signals. The intermediate term picture remains unclear to me. If we rally, I can explain it. If we drop, I can explain it. But you can't enter orders after the fact. I don't usually risk my money when the picture is not clear. Uh, tomorrow's pattern has the early low. Good likelihood of gapping up at the wall, but it certainly doesn't happen every time. And if we go further down enough, we should get a good drop. If we break out on the upside, I can justify a good rally. And at this point, I'm not willing to commit myself as to which of those two things will happen. And that's today's call.